Hi, I'm John from Accio. Today I'm going to walk you through building an AI model to score your leads. Lead scoring is one of the toughest problems in marketing. If you're doing a good job on acquisition, you're getting a lot of customers or potential customers in at the top of the funnel, but only a small percent of them actually convert to purchasers. Historically, there's a bunch of mechanisms you can use to score those leads. You can look at their behavior. You can set sort of arbitrary thresholds that score them up or down, the number of actions they take, the number of links they click, the articles that they read. You can compare them to other customers. If they have similar firmographic or demographic predispositions to needing your product, but none of them are exceptionally good or especially easy to use. That all changes when you bring AI to the problem. With an AI model, you can compare leads at the top of your funnel to customers who have already made purchases and very easily parse out the ones that are likely to buy, allowing you to work on closing them much more efficiently than you could otherwise. So let's take a look at how you can accomplish that in under 10 minutes. To get started, we'll take a data set that's downloaded from Salesforce of previously converted or not converted customers. So this is a historic data set. In this case, from a bank who gave a direct mail campaign to each one of these customers and then tracked whether or not they subscribed or converted to the service. This is a data set of around 41,000 records. So let's give it a go. We'll load this in and then use it to train an AI model very quickly. No software skill or data science needed. All right. So if you visit akio.com, A-K-K-I-O.com and click sign up, you can make your account and get started right away. You'll be presented with this window, which is the flow creation window. A flow is an end-to-end -end AI, AI model that we'll use to score our leads. Simply click create new flow. Go ahead and title it lead scoring model. And then we'll start by selecting the historical data set we're going to use to train the model. Click on table. And I've uploaded a data set called historic conversions here. We'll start with that. Accio will automatically detect the type of information in each one of your columns. That could be a number, that's in the age category here, uh, a category, job, um, some descriptions or demographics about that customer, any other details you have in that record. Go ahead and like include those in the data set because the AI model will attempt to use them to predict the outcome, whether or not they turned into purchasers. Once you've uploaded your data set, the next step is to build the predictive model. Just click Add Step and select the flow step predict. You can predict any one of the variables in your data set given the other information in that set. But of course, we're interested in whether or not these leads have purchased or not. So we'll go ahead and click converted. Accio will take 80% of your data set and use it to train a dedicated machine learning model that will attempt to be able to differentiate on each record whether or not they're likely to convert to purchase. We'll reserve about 20% of the data set as a validation set. And once we've built the network, we'll run that validation set against the network so we can check our performance. Okay, we're done. First, you wanna look at the prediction quality. How did we do? Well, overall, we accurately predicted 90.52% of conversions. And you can see those individual results here. For any given row, we'll show you what we predicted. In this case, no, and we were correct. And we'll show you when we get it wrong. In this case, we predicted no, but the customer did convert. In the prediction quality output, you can see a deeper dive on how well we did. In the no case, we got 4,184 out of 4,301 correctly predicted as not converting. And in the yes case, the case of interest, we did pretty well. We captured 197 of 539 customers who ended up converting with only 117 false positives. So over 50% of the set that we predicted would convert actually converted. Now that we've built the model, the next step is to deploy it and then run it against leads at the top of our funnel. To deploy the model, just add one more step and select a web app output. This will automatically be titled and over here on the right side of the screen, you'll be able to see a preview of what it'll look like when you deploy it. You can select any input field you like and manually input the information, or more importantly, you can bulk upload a CSV for bulk processing of predictions. And that's what we'll do. 
go ahead and just turn this button to on in the top right and you'll get a dedicated web page that you can use to run predictions against your new model. Let's take a look. So here we go. This is our lead scoring model. We're able to enter any sort of information we want manually and just click predict or bulk upload a CSV. Let's bulk upload a CSV. I've got a new data set called new leads that I want to take a look at and score. Before I upload it, let's open it and see what it looks like. This data set has the same columns of information as we had about our historic data, but has blanks for converted. So for these customers, we have no idea whether or not they're convert. Back to the model, we'll upload that CSV of new leads. You'll see the status up here as it predicts each one of the rows and whether or not they'll convert. And when it completes, you'll have the option to download a CSV of those results as well as a preview window that has the model predictions filled in. Let's take a deeper look by looking at the downloaded CSV. Okay, so out of 2,000 rows of potential leads, let's check how many the model thinks will convert. We'll just quickly filter on the converted tab, which now contains the predictions. We'll select the yes field. And as you can see, the model has surfaced 21 leads that are very likely to convert out of those 2,000 top of the funnel leads. Now you can take these leads and act on them immediately. And with extra effort, you can increase the rate of conversions as well as the percent of conversions from your sales engagement processes. So in this way, in a very short period of time, we were able to build an AI model to predict lead conversion and score our leads with ease. That's the power of AI and the platform Accio.